stage. I, mean, it's, I tell you what the trip, it's fun having everybody in the class. I get to know all these people and see it start happening. Because a lot of these people, very first time on stage, this guy, I know you're going to enjoy him. Make him feel happy. Make him feel welcome. Tom Litt, let him know. Tom Litt. <laughs> Keep it going for Bill. Hit it, let him hit it, let him hit it. I mean, so I was a bit nervous about coming here on stage. So before I got here, I whacked my willy. Out in the parking lot. I'm just kidding, it was backstage. So there's two things that you need to know about me. I like to do character voices. And I have an Uncle Dad. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I got an Uncle Dad. Uh -oh. But I'm from Oklahoma, so I think it's okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of normal. Uh, but here's how it happened, all right? Uh, my parents, they did the whole till death do you part thing. They were together for 45 years. 45 years. And uh, a while later, my dad calls me up and he says, Hey, Tom, I just want you to know I was going to get remarried. And I'm supportive. You know what? You shouldn't live alone. He says, uh, I said, uh, you know, who's the lucky lady? He says, uh, well, you know her. <laughs> you remembered your Aunt Pam? <laughs> I said, Dad, is that even legal? <laughs> is it ethical? He said, well, we ain't no relation. And she's been divorced from my brother for over 20 years. <laughs> so I think I got us booked on the Jerry Springer show. <laughs> so uh, I like to do character voices, right? They're fun. I like to do them. And I thought it would be fun, like, if you ate like certain ethnic foods, and then all of a sudden you could speak like in that language, right? You have a couple of tacos, and all of a sudden you're like, "Orale, where get the paso, man? Bring me another avocado. Hey, give me some taco, man. Hey, hurry up with that salsa." <laughs> right, right, right. But you gotta be careful what you eat, though. See. So me and my lady, we're at this backyard barbecue, right? She had a New York strip, I had a burger. She eats her steak. The next thing you know, she's up dancing, taking her clothes off, screaming at me. Oh, honey, be a doll and go get grandma her cigars. <laughs> and I'll have another Long Island, too. Watch a step, I drop my teeth somewhere. So, so I have this burger, right? And then I go up to the grill master and I was like, was that burger an all beef patty? <laughs> what about those buns? Were they glutton free? Because I need some punishment. <laughs> so that's the last time my dad invited us to the family barbecue. <laughs> So I like to do a little 30 second, 30 second fairy tale. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite ones. Kind of goes like this. Etienne, Etienne. A twister, a twister. <laughs> you killed the witch. Take her shoes. We represent the lollipop. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Well, a lot of people do a lot of talking, Dorothy, and they don't have brains. If I only had a high, some courage. <laughs> Why'd you help me? I wasn't gonna bite him. <laughs> I'm melting, I'm melting. What a wow. 
there's no place like here. That's my set.